Bridgetone Music. Today we've got the Martial Astoria range and I'm now playing through the Custom, which is the single channel with an effects loop and with a gain boost and just generally more gain than the classic version. So it's, it can be a little bit of a monster this and the first time I played through this I was using a Les Paul and it's, it's got quite a lot of gain on tap but when you put a strap through it you realise why there's that much gain in there because if you just want to have a very thick lead overdrive from a strap with single coils you can get it from this amp. So we'll go through a number of different sounds, uh, probably starting with this Strat and doing just a little bit of a kind of crunchy, bluesy kind of overdrive and then we'll, we'll go from there and see what we get. So I've got an echo in the effects loop just to demonstrate. We have an effects loop in this amplifier so we might as well use it. Um, just using a nice Strymon El Capistan uh, delay unit here. But I'm going to turn this off for the first demo and we'll just play a few nice little kind of bluesy licks. the Strat again but we've got the amp set for a much higher gain tone but I'm not talking about heavy metal I'm just talking about a big lead sound but because the amp's so responsive even with this amount of gain we'll use the guitar's volume control the different pickups and, and different pick attack and we'll get a lot of different sounds and nuances just from the one setting on the amplifier this might be a way that you might use it we've also got the echo engaged again slightly different echo just to suit the sound of what we're playing uh, and we'll just talk a little bit about the uh, mic setup as well. We've got the 57 close on the amplifier. We've also got a condenser in the room just to capture a little bit of ambience and a little bit more of the realism of the tone of the amplifier. So here goes, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Plenty of attack from the Strat, I've got most of the control straight up, I've just tamed down the treble a little bit. Um, on the gain control I've left the, um, the gain control in, because it has got a body control to give it even more thickness, but with the amount of gain I've used that would probably give you a little bit too much, um, but you can experiment with that yourself. Um, but yeah, quite a high gain sound from the amplifier, about half volume on the 5 watt setting, it's a lovely sound. Right, now we've got a Les Paul, and I've just been sat here trying to kind of work out what I'm going to say, what I'm going to play, and it, it's just amazing how much responsiveness you get from this amp and how much of the guitar's tone comes through. It can be very fierce, this amp, and if you get the setting wrong, like many a high-quality amp, like a Boogie or, or all those other amps, if you get the setting wrong, it, it can really kill the sound. But you just play around a little bit and just be a little bit tasteful with the settings. Don't go for any excessive settings, and it just gives you so much of a reward and I've just been playing here just before we started the camera rolling and you just hear so much life and I'll, I'll just have a little bit of a play around I might end up mucking it up or playing the wrong notes but let, I'll just show you what I was getting at
so much responsiveness. It, it's doing everything you ask of the guitar. It's coming really nice through the amp, really clear, and, and nothing's kind of getting in the way of your playing. It's really nice and touch responsive. It's a great sound. Thank you very much for listening to my demonstration of the Marshall Astoria Custom. And a big thank you to Marshall for sending us some stock for demo. Um, we'll have our own stock for sale in the next few days. Um, and we look forward to seeing you down in the shop. And you're more than welcome to come and give them a try when you're ready. Thank you.